Did you know that attempting to quit drinking alcohol can kill you if you don't do it properly? If you're planning to quit drinking, this is a very important video that you need to watch. So alcohol is a legal drug that over 60% of Americans consume on a regular basis. It is so common and socially acceptable that it almost seems harmless in our society. However, did you know that alcohol kills more people per year than every other drug combined? And if that's not shocking enough, it can even kill you when you try to stop. Talk about a catch-22. Alcohol is among a small list of drugs that should never be quit suddenly without medical supervision. Because along with drugs like heroin and fentanyl, alcohol withdrawal can kill you if you do not wean yourself off of it properly. So, does this concern you? Maybe. If you are alcohol dependent, you should be under medical supervision if you attempt to quit drinking alcohol. Because the withdrawal symptoms of someone who has been alcohol dependent for years can be so severe that they can die from them. So here are the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal, starting with the most mild, going all the way up to the most severe. If you are a heavy drinker, when you first quit drinking alcohol, after the first like 6 to 12 hours, it is not uncommon to experience anxiety headaches, irritability, nausea, insomnia, but the most severe and potentially fatal forms of alcohol withdrawal happen between 12 and 72 hours after quitting and can last up to five days. And it's something called delirium tremens, which trust me is just as scary as it sounds. And the symptoms of delirium tremens don't just suddenly appear, they kind of come on gradually, which can range from agitation, irritability, aggression, confusion, hallucinations. I remember one time I quit, I felt like bugs were crawling on me. Like I literally thought I had bed bugs. I would be 100% sure there was a bug crawling on me, I would immediately go check it out and there would be nothing there. Also, physical symptoms like shivering, shaking, you get the shakes, high blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, sweating profusely. I remember waking up one night soaked in my bed. Like I sweat so much that I thought that I wet the bed. But where the withdrawals can become fatal is they can cause extremely high fevers, seizures, heart attacks, and even strokes. And this is all scary shit. But the good news is, this is all very rare. Only about half the people who abuse alcohol experience withdrawal symptoms. And of those people, only 5% of people experience delirium tremens. And of those 5%, there is only a 10% mortality rate. So dying from alcohol withdrawal is rare, but it is still a very real risk. And I'm not trying to scare you, but as the owner of a YouTube channel that promotes and encourages sobriety, I feel it is my responsibility to warn you of the potential risks of quitting alcohol. So the bottom line is, if you've been drinking heavily for years, do not suddenly stop drinking alcohol or quit cold turkey. First, go see a doctor. Seek medical advice. Because while I believe quitting alcohol can save your life, it's also not worth losing your life over.